Hey guys, Jason DeLong here with KC Heartland Homes and I wanted to uh, reach out today. It's Friday, it's a nice day out. And um, I had some questions lately about how the market in KC is doing and what to expect in the near future. So I'm talking to Drew today and I wanna welcome him aboard. He's got a few questions he wants to ask and hopefully explain a little bit of what's going on in the market. Absolutely, Jason. I appreciate you having me on again. And yeah, let's uh, not waste any time and jump right into our questions today on how Kansas City's doing in the market. So wow. first, um, the end of the year's up fast approaching with the holidays and everything. So what would you say people can expect from the Kansas City market as we approach the end of the 2019 year? Yeah, I can't believe it. It's almost the end of the year. Um, but uh yeah, I mean, right now we're starting to see showing slow down a little bit on listings, um, just a seasonal kind of seasonality of it. Um, you know, I, I think there's no, nothing more to read into it. There's there's a lot of talk asking questions about, you know, are we uh, headed towards a recession? You know, it's kind of been in the news lately, just nationwide. And I just don't think Kansas City is going to be a part of that. So right now, it's really just like seasonal slowdown. Um, and we'll probably expect that through um, maybe January, February, depending on how the, our weather is. So I think that's all it is. All right, perfect. So a sl little bit slower time of year for you then, correct then, Jason? It is, yep. All right, perfect. Yep. So um, with that being said, kind of what indicators do you look at um, as a professional to help you dictate the market that I can also kind of take a look at to potentially kind of look at it myself to see where the market's at and just so I can kind of keep a better eye on it myself. Yep. No, that's a great question. <clears throat> um, really, I mean, indicators is always, you know, inventory levels and just days on market, like how long homes are staying on the market. So um, that's one of the best things to, to look at. Um, you know, also job growth. I know, you know, there's not, it's not, you know, your common um, knowledge. I mean, there's job growth reports that come out like every quarter um, and Kansas City's growing. There's a lot of companies moving in. Um, so that definitely helps and, and is bringing jobs in. And I mean, unemployment rates are you know, all time low still. So um, it's, you know, Kansas City's expanding the airport, bringing a lot more international travel and uh, I mean, I think there's reasons for that, um, not just to get more nonstop flights to Cancun for for vacation, but, you know, for for business. So that's going to bring a lot more jobs, I think, to the area as well. So I think things are things are looking up uh, for Kansas City, you know, the the years moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say one of the best benefits is definitely that nonstop flight to Cancun. Always. <laughs> that one, that's better, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely the more, more of those I can take, the better. Um, right. Exactly right. So jumping back now into the market, uh, as far you had said, one of those indicators is inventory. Currently, how's the inventory in the Kansas City area looking? It's still low. Um, in most areas, it's under three months um, supply. So um, that's really low. Um, and you know, the thing is, too, you know, once you get into this um, seasonal slowdown, um, there's some sellers that will take their house off the market just because of holiday. They don't want people coming in and just they'll wait and pick it back up in spring usually. But what that means for everybody else that can stick out, you know, the the fall and the winter months, um, there's going to be less competition, um, less houses for buyers that are shopping to to look at. So I, I think it's just a, a, a benefit to the sellers that stay on the market now. Um, over over these winter months. Yeah, I'd absolutely have to agree with what you had said there about inventory um, being down a little bit as far as depending on areas a little bit there too as well. It, I mean, as far as kind of a buying perspective, could you elaborate a little bit more on what this seasonal slowdown uh, that we've talked about so far could mean for potential buyers out there looking? Yeah, absolutely. You know, if you're a buyer right now in the market, um, it's probably a little bit more to your advantage, even though it's still, I'd say, considered a seller's market. Um, properties aren't going to be flying off the shelf as fast. So you might have a little bit more time to 
kind of think through your decision before having to you know jump in and and write an offer or a contract on something to 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 beat the competition. So I, I think it's kind of levels the playing field a little bit and gives the buyers a little more time to kind of think through it and maybe a few more choices to look at as well. Yeah, absolutely. And then just my last question was, uh, would you say it's more of a buyer's or a seller's market? But you had just answered that yeah. um, with touching on the fact that it is a little bit more of a seller's market. But yeah. they're also with the let me reelaborate my question then of with it also being a good time for buyers to potentially buy a home. Um, what would what in your opinion makes you want to say it's a seller's market even though the buyers would you want to almost say that it's a balanced market or would you would with the opportunities you had said of buyers having that um, yeah could, would you say it's a little bit closer to a balanced market or would you say it's a heavy seller's market or a heavy buyer's market uh, I, you know, so I'd say it's still a seller's market, but I would say in these next, like maybe the next quarter, uh, I would say it's more of a balanced or a level market, you know, um, cause buyers are going to have a little more time and, and maybe a few more, a less competition with other buyers because some other buyers, you know, decide to, you know, hold off their search until, uh, maybe the spring too. So I think it levels the playing field. Definitely. Um, but you know, with that, you know, the indicators are there just for a seller's market. I mean, you look at new construction, and it, it started to slow down a little bit, but um, inventory is still low. I mean, you, builders don't have a whole lot of inventory sitting out there, um, so it's just you got to look at those facts. And I mean, rates are, you know dropped again, so those are an all-time low, um, and, and a lot of times they do right before the fall and winter as well, just to kind of help spur um buyer activity um so yeah i mean you know we're we're kind of a temporary you know level uh market right now all right perfect so um outside of that that really wraps up my questions for you today jason um pretty much just to can't just uh kind of review everything we discussed today um a seller's market with low inventory um, in some, if not most places in the Kansas City area. Um, but with that being said, there's also an opportunity for buyers if you are potentially looking to buy. Um, and then some of those indicators that you look at, inventory, days on market, um, to help kind of dictate what's going on with the market. And then uh, just with the end of the year seasonal slowdown, it sounds like based on weather, obviously the holidays play a factor in that as well. Yeah. Correct? absolutely all right awesome well i appreciate you taking the time to answer my questions today jason um if people do want to get in touch with you how would they do so uh give me a call let's use the best way call or text um you can reach me at 816-651-5190 or hit us up on facebook too all right perfect well again appreciate the time today jason and i hope you have a great rest of your day you bet thanks drew all right